Hi, good morning, and welcome to Grief Inspired. My name is Catherine McNulty. If you're here for the first time, I want to thank you, and I want to say welcome. I'm so glad that you found me. So what I do at Grief Inspired is I'm really focusing right now on supporting mothers um, of loss, pregnancy, infant loss, miscarriage, losing children. It's so dear to my heart because of everything that I've been through and I've spent the last 10 years and we're coming up on 10 years. Um, Jackson's birthday would be 10 years in December. Um, and what I really aim to do is twofold. One is I really want to walk hand in hand with mothers who are hurting because it's a journey that you don't want to walk alone. But secondarily, I want to be a teacher and I want to teach those who are willing to learn um, and who want to find joy and happiness and fulfillment again, the path that I took, uh, the way that I got there. And so today is a special day. I want to take some time and teach you a tool. Um, Bob Proctor said, that calmness of mind is one of life's greatest pleasures and is a jewel of life. And I wholeheartedly believe that. And there's so many people that I talk to who say, I can't meditate, it's too hard, it's not right for me. And as a mother who is grieving, there is a sense of anxiety or stress. Everything's an emotional upheaval. Right, so you're mentally tired, you're physically tired, you're spiritually tired, um, you're emotionally drained. And so taking time to really learn the practice of meditation can really help. Um, and so I wanna do that for you today. I wanna walk you through um, how do you do it. Typically, my recommendation is to listen with headphones. Headphones are good because it blocks out sort of the rest of the world and really taps in. Now what I'm doing this morning is I am going to use some essential oils. Uh, these are Young Living essential oils. You don't have to. What I find is that they, they support the body, they support the mind, they support the emotions and being able to inhale them in. I have frankincense. Um, frankincense for me is the oil that really brings me um, that calmness of mind. And so I keep finding that I gravitate to it more and more because that's, that's everything that I wanted and that I still sometimes struggle for is that calm and that peace. And that can be really, really challenging when you know, you're deep in the grief. Um, but what I want you to know is that you can get through this and these are things and tools that I'm teaching you that will help you um, get through it. So to start again, use headphones. I like being outside. I actually don't have anything on my feet. If you can have your feet touching the ground, um, outdoors, the earth, um, grass, you know, anything, um, it will help to ground you. And again, anytime you're grounded, it brings you a sense of peace and calmness. Um, and so then to begin to meditate, all you really do is you just wanna sit comfortably. And so you wanna think of comfort as being sort of the thing that, that helps you most. So if you're most comfortable laying down and you wanna lay down, oh my goodness, lay down on the grass with some headphones, um, and this would be remarkable. Um, but sit somewhere where you're comfortable. Try to be by yourself um, so that you don't have to worry about anybody else looking at you or feeling self-conscious. And give yourself a breath. And just take a moment and tell yourself, I'm calm and I'm peaceful and I'm doing this meditation to support myself it's self-care for me and it's going to be very calming and it's going to make me feel more at peace, more at love, 
a little more light. And so let's just jump in and get started. So to get started, I want you to close your eyes and consider settling in. So let your body start to settle. Let any emotions that you have in your head, in your mind, in your heart, let them begin to flow out of your body. So you want to think of inhaling emotion or inhaling peace and calm and letting go of some of the pain and emotion. And I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine a large white funnel of light coming to you all the way from space. And I want you to imagine it resting on the center of your head and letting that light come into your body, letting that light fill up your brain, wash over everything that's going on in that head of yours, washing it out, releasing all the thoughts for these few moments, circling down past your nose, across your ears, through your mouth, and down to your neck. See the light flowing in from the top, from your head, down through your body. Now it's going to reach your shoulders. And again, imagine the light washing through your body, going down your arms, to your elbows, to your wrists, and out your hands. Imagine the light flowing completely through you and let the light fill you up. Now feel the light filling up your heart. Feel it going around your chest. Think of it encompassing your heart embracing the light and feeling the love that you have for your child. Let the light circulate, feel it moving all around your heart and let the light keep going out through your arms and down through your torso, down to your waist and your hips, down through your legs, all the way until it reaches the earth, until it can come out your toes. And imagine the light flowing from the top of your head now all the way down through your body. And think of your little boy, think of your little girl, think of your baby and know that they are with you. They are in the light. They are part of the light that's washing through you. And sit in the calm. Take a moment and let a breath out. Allow yourself to breathe in healthy, good oxygen and breathe out the negativity, the pain, the hurt. And now imagine light coming in through your head that's full of love, peace, calm. And remember the moments of joy that you've had. Remember the moments of joy that filled your heart, the joy that can make you so sad sometimes. And imagine as the light continues to flow through you, down past your heart, down out of your arms, down out of your legs. Imagine joy. Imagine yourself feeling joy, 
feeling calm, feeling peaceful. And if there's a place that you've been or a place that you want to go where you will feel safe and comforted and joyful, feel that space. That is your happy, calm place. And as you practice this meditation more and more, you will be able to get to this place quicker. You'll be able to feel the light flowing through your body from the top of your head, around your brain, down your neck, past your heart, flowing around your heart. And you'll be able to feel more calm, more quickly. Speed of calmness, grounding, being centered is such a comfort when you're grieving. Breathe in deeply, breathe out. Remind yourself that this time is a gift, that taking these few minutes as often as you can by yourself will help teach you how to ground, how to calm, how to center. And if your eyes are still closed, go ahead and open them up. And if you've been with me through this meditation, take a moment to congratulate yourself. This is time for you, time for calmness, time for peace, time to be closer to your baby, to your child, to your son or to your daughter. It's time to remember them. It's time to turn the tears of pain that you feel and to watch them slowly turn into tears of joy. And it's knowing that it's possible and knowing that your grief won't last forever, that you won't be this sad forever and it's about holding on and it's about practice and it's about learning new things and out of the pain there will become a knowingness a love a connection to your child that's even stronger than you thought was possible so I want to encourage you to use this meditation as often as you can for you because you deserve love. You deserve happiness. You deserve joy. And on the other side of grief, on the other side of suffering, on the other side of pain is a joy and a fulfillment that I personally never could have imagined those 10 years ago. And I want you to trust me and know that it is totally possible for you to. And these are the tools that I'm creating for Grief Inspired to help you get through this one step at a time if you need me to walk with you, I want to walk with you. I am here. You are not alone. And you can do this and you can get through it. Now take one last big inhale and let it all out. 
And maybe one more because it feels so good. And if you have an oil, don't forget to breathe in those oils because they will support you on the process. Thank you for spending your time with me, for trusting me to support you on your grief journey. I want you to be grief inspired. I really, really do. It's what I pray for. It's what I long for. It's why I'm here. It's what my grief means to me. And this little angel reminds me that this is Jackson and that he is here with me, through me, and in me. And that love will never die. Have a great day today. Peace and love to you.